Last week, India successfully launched a satellite which finally established the country's own satellite navigation system. And once again, it did so on a shoestring budget. This is a superb achievement for the homegrown Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO. ISRO was set up in 1969. Since then, it has managed to break the stereotype of a public sector company and emerged as an institution which is world class. In 2015, it has inked contracts to launch 25 satellites, which include 12 for the United States, 4 for Germany and 3 for Canada. So far, ISRO has launched 57 satellites for 21 countries. The world woke up to its capabilities when ISRO succeeded with its Mars Orbiter mission, Mangalyaan. And amazingly, it managed to do so at one-ninth of the $670 million spent by the United States NASA on its own mission to Mars. In 2014, September, Mangalyaan entered the orbit of Mars, ending a 300-day voyage. With it, India became the first country to succeed in its first attempt to send a probe to the Red Planet. The 1,340-kilogram Mars orbiter was launched aboard the PSLV C-25 on 5 November 2013. It carried five scientific payloads, weighing a total of 15 kg, including a camera. Next on the agenda is Chandrayaan-2, the country's second moon mission, to be launched later this year. It proposes to soft land a wheeled robotic vehicle to explore the surface of the moon. Regardless of whether it succeeds or not, ISRO has undoubtedly ensured its place in history. The trick will be in emulating the ISRO story in other sectors.